Hello guys, greetings, welcome back to the channel. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. We are back again with me. For this one, I'm going to feel uh, to show some of my midterm test project one for the listening comprehension. Without any further ado, let's get started. Okay, the first one, part A, completing text. The ants, the ants were spending a fine winter's day drying grain collected in the summertime. A grasshopper perishing with famine passed by and earnestly begged for a little food. The ants inquired of him, Why did you not treasure up food during the summer? He replied, I had not leisure enough. I passed the days in singing. They then said in duration, If you were foolish enough to sing all the summer, you must dance supperless to bed in the winter. Let's move on to the next part. Part B. Completing Dialogue A. Do you like shopping? B. Yes, I'm a shopaholic. A. What do you usually shop for? B. I usually shop for clothes. I'm a big fashion fan. A. Where do you go shopping? B. At some fashion boutiques in my neighborhood. A. Are there many shops in your neighborhood? B. Yes, my area is the city center, so I have many choices of where to shop. A. Do you spend much money on shipping on shopping? B. Yes, and I'm usually broke at the end of the month. A. Do you usually shop online? What items? B. Yes, but not really often. I only buy furniture online. A. What's the difference between shopping online and offline? B. Unlike shopping offline, you cannot try on the pieces of clothes or check the material when shopping online. For the last part, part C. Completing text. Brought by baby in the treetop. When the wind blows, the cradle will rock. Helena was playing with her dolls under the maple tree in the garden. It was the first warm day of spring, and the little girl was glad to be out of doors again and to rock her babies to sleep on one of the low branches. But she was not the only one singing a lullaby that bright sunny morning. For Mother Nature was singing one too, and a soft breeze was gently tucking some little brown cradles to and fro in the treetops. Some were very, very small, and others were larger, but each held a wee leaf baby fast asleep. The next time Helena came out to play, the babies in the treetop were waking up, and she could see them in their dainty green night dresses peeping out the world. During the next week, they grew a great deal, and one of them crept out of their cradles, which fell down to the ground, leaving the babies still up in the treetop. By the time spring went away, the babies had grown large and strong and spread beautiful green parasols to give shape to their friends through the hot, dusty days of summer. When autumn came, Mother Nature gave them a holiday and how pretty they looked in their gay gowns as they frolicked with the wind. Then they said goodbye to the maple tree and went dancing and whirling over the fields to meet King Winter. When Helena looked into their old homes on the tree, 
she found some more tiny brown cradles and knew that in them were new leaf babies that sleep safely till spring comes again to visit Earth Dawn and wakes each baby in the tree park. That's it for today. I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Thank you.